Hi guys, this is Mary from the Mary and Joe channel. If this is your first time tuning into our channel, take this time to turn on notifications so that you will not miss one of our videos. And take a little time to subscribe to our channel. I don't know who that is. Show Clive watching people feed the fish at the park at the gazebo. Okay, guys, today I'm going to be dedicating this video to one of my subscribers, Philip Gerbin. He had a question, um, says his top thread keeps snapping. Please help. So I'm going to attempt. To help Philip, and I think I've got his problem. I think it's with the tension on his machine. Okay, today I'm gonna be showing you some tips. Uh, we're gonna start simple, and we're going to do getting to know my sewing machine. This is a brother LS. 2400 sewing machine. You can get this one at Walmart. On my playlist under MJA DIY Pro Tips, I have got a uh, video on how to sew, how to thread your machine, how to uh, d thread your bobbin, getting used to the bobbin, so now we're just gonna go over a few steps uh, of knowing our machine. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this knob right here. This is your tension knob. This first knob up here is your needle position knob. The next knob, this right here is our spool pin and felt. And they're on most all machines. And then, right, and then right beside it is the bobbin winder spindle. That's this. You put your bobbin on here and it, you can fill up your bobbin. I've already okay. got this uh, threaded. And I think Philip knows how to thread his machine. And he already knows how to get his threads up. But they keep balling up on her. So what I'm thinking is that it's your tension. So, and then I've already threaded the machine, but there's something special that I want to go ahead and go over these three knobs with you and then get to thread the machine, how to thread a bobbin and get the bottom of these two threads up. And that's hard sometimes to get it straight. So we're going to come back to it. So, you can position your needle to the left, to the middle, or to the right. When you're just making a, a normal sewing, you're going to put it in the middle. Okay, and then the next one is your stitch uh, width. It just twists like this, and, and uh, you use it mostly if you're going to do some zigzag stitching. And then the next one is your stitch width knob. You can go from one to four, and I like mine on three. The main button we're gonna work uh, tell you about today is this uh, tension button. There's all kind of uh, things you, you need to know about your machine, like uh, how to lift up your uh, foot and that is your pressure foot. This little thing right here nips it up and down. You can, you can see that, up and down. Okay. Let me read you a little bit about the tension. Okay, ladies. Now, our gentlemen, adjusting needle thread tension. In my book, it says correct tension is important because too much or too little will weaken your seams or cause your fabric to pucker. Zigzag stitching requires less needle thread tension than straight stitching. Make a test sample 
with the fabric and thread you plan to use so that you can adjust the tension properly. A well-balanced stitch, as shown in illustration A over here, will have the needle and bobbin threads locked together the two layers of fabric with no loops on top or bottom and no puckers. So, I have already made my first line after I uh, threaded my machine. And this is um, just a straight line. You see it's flat on both sides. And that's what you're looking for. So, and my tension for this material that I'm sewing is set on five. My needle is in the middle. My stitch width is on zero right now. And then my stitch length, it goes up to four. And what I've got mine on right now is three. And you can test it out. We're going to uh, test it out to make sure we're going to sew this uh, straight stitch with no balling up at the bottom or the top. So let me show you some adjustments. This white thread is the, the top thread. And for the bobbin, I'm using this green thread. So I'm going to put it under here. And we're going to make uh, a line. Put my foot down. Then I'm going to let my needle down with this knob and then step on the foot pedal. And I'm going to show you that we'll be sewing a straight line without our thread breaking. This straight line stitching is set at middle zero and three. Now, if we wanted to make a zigzag, we would set this knob, your stitch uh, width, I would go, I can go all the way to five. And let's see what kind of stitch we're gonna get. Okay. Now, let's see what we've got. Wind it out. Okay, and then we got the zigzag stitch on both sides, but it's still smooth and flat and it's not puckering. Okay, I use that zigzag in the middle of one of my seams if I want to be sure that they're going to stay together on the edge. And then if you want to lengthen your stitch, so that you can uh, make gathers, gather something. Let's try that. So we turn this width dial back to zero and the lift guy all the way over to five to lift in your stitch as far as it can go. And this is how you do gathering stitches. So each stitch will come out longer. You're lengthening it so that they'll be uh, loose. Now, we're made our stitches and they're very long. They're the longest ones we can make, over to five. And now it's easy to just pull the top thread and you can have gathers. Like if you wanna make a gathered skirt, you got gathers. They're, the stitches are there. They're smooth. The thread is not breaking, but you can pull them. And our tension is just right on the bottom and the top. If you're not sewing with the right thread or the right tension, your, your bottom and top thread will be all looped up. Or if you say, Philip, your thread will break. So... I've got my tension straight on my machine right now, and I uh, don't want to move it because I'm, I'm going to sew with this material. Just take your, use some material and practice. 
on what kind of stitches you want to make. Zigzag stitches on the edges of your material. If you want to make uh, just regular stitches or if you want to make the gathering stitches so that you can gather up material like this. I hope you learned a little bit about sewing machine tension. There's a lot to learn about it. And you got to get your thread and your material balanced out. Some thread won't, uh, you can't use on certain material. And you need to do that in, in, at the store when you're buying your thread and your material. The numbers on the dial eliminate guesswork. If the fabric puckers, decrease the tension. If the stitches in your test sample looks loose, increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn the dial to a lower number. To increase the tension, turn your dial to a higher number. Just remember that. And um, your thread should stop breaking or balled it up. It's got to be the tension on the thread and you're working with the bottom and a top thread. Did you like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.